Hello everyone, I'm Said. In this video, I'm going to show you a small issue with find method in Entity Framework Core. I have a small project here to show the case. As you know, find method in Entity Framework Core or Entity Framework can use for query on table based on primary keys or set of keys. Okay, so when you are calling the find method, you can ask the primary key of the entity and then it will get the row by that primary key. But the point is, in find method, you cannot use as no tracking. For example, if I want to put as no tracking here, as you can see, I cannot use the find method after as no tracking. It means always entity framework will track the entities that return by find method. Let's uh, a little talk about the uh, entity framework, how it tracks the entity and save them. Think about it like this. It has a dictionary that key is the something like primary key of the entity. And then the value is the actual object. When entity framework start tracking entities, it always check this primary key is uh, already exists in our dictionary. So no need to get it again because I already track it. If you are trying to, for example, get another uh, entity with the same ID in the tracked entities, it will through exception that says, okay, I already track this entity with the ID. So you cannot track it again or I cannot uh, track that entity again. The point is here for the find method, entity framework, for the first time, it will query on the database, but second time, it will not hit your database because it's already tracked. It's kind of cache for the find method. First, check the code and uh, let's see how it works for the entity framework. I already enabled the log for checking the generated PSQL query by the entity framework. If you don't know how to enable the logs, simply after that method six, uh, you can use this method for enabling logs log2 and it actually accept an action that you can pass the string and just log it somewhere so here i pass the console dot right line so everything that entity framework try to create or logging everything i log it in the console let's run the project let me put this here and one so if i just put the f10 here you can see that there is a lot of log from the entity framework to how it's trying to translate the link to the tsql uh, but at the end it will execute this query on my database okay select top one from author where id is p1 that here is one you can see that it hit our database to get the outer entity from my database if i check uh, the query yeah uh, id1 joseph Al-Bahari. okay but here let me run the second uh, statement here you can see there is nothing happened here because entity framework says okay i already tracked this uh, entity with id1 and no need to generate tsql or query on database again that's an issue actually maybe you say okay uh, why i need to care about this issue we need to always know what is the limitations about entity framework methods just to mention if you are using something like first or default or single or default for getting one row, it's okay, no problem. In those cases, Entity Framework always query on your database for getting the query. But in case of find, it will query only the first time. Why it's uh, important to know? Think about it like this. You are trying to query from the database. Maybe it's not happened usually, but let's uh, imagine like this. 
you have two application, application A and B. Both of these application working on same database. When I say same database, it means same table, same schema, but different application instance. Think about it like this, application A get one record, ID one from database, cache it in the application context. And in meanwhile, application B will update something on that record on ID one that application A doesn't know about those updates. And when you are trying to get that record again, it will not query on your database and use the old values. Here is the situation. Maybe it caused data inconsistency in your application if you don't care about it. Maybe you say, okay, this is, it's not possible, that situation. But in rare scenarios, maybe you have this kind of multiple instance or multiple application working with same database. It can happen. And also keep in mind that when you are uh, using the database, uh, the DB context object as a singleton, it happened again because singleton, it means one for application lifetime. And if you are using DB context and not using the pooling, only uh, DB context as a singleton, it will track all of those entities. So it means if you use this find method first time, it will cache this entity for your entire application lifetime until you shut down the application or restart that instance. Here is the issue that I wanted to mention here. It was a really quick uh, video. Thank you for your time.